Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to FS News Wrap Up. It's Sunday, so it's time for the news wrap up. Remember, this video is actually supposed to go over all the news from this past week. Before we get started on the news, just want to say happy Easter to all of you from me and the admin team. In today's wrap up, we'll be going over some news finally on the John Deere 8020. Plus, we have some news on the Alma update that will be coming out pretty soon. Now, for that weekly wrap up question. Since it's Easter, what is your favorite food to eat well on this day? Let me know in the comment section below. So the last wrap up video, we only got 366 likes. We can do a lot better than that. Let's try to get to that 400. So remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's go. Welcome back, and here we go. The first piece of news to actually go over for today is from Chilbaki about that big Alma, Missouri update that will be coming out very soon. The uh, version on that will be actually 1.0.0.3. So the big change log on this, what is it going to add? It added a snowy road when it snows and wet asphalt during rain, increased the number of cows, sheep, and the amount of food in the animal barns, increased the selling prices at the train sell point so that the train has become more attractive for selling your goods. That's actually a big thing right there. Uh, the farmhouse on the main farm is retextured and a usable garage has now been added. The cow farm near town was retextured and usable garage was added to the farmhouse. Added a placeable farmhouse with usable garage and color selectable walls. Some of the trees that were stuck too far into the ground have been raised so that by removing them, the fields can be joined more easily. And he also added at the last minute, a herbicide fertilizer, seeds, liquid fertilizer, and lime tanks are now available as placeables in the container section. And all this does not require a new save. Then a mod that would actually go good with this map is actually from Legacy AG. This is actually entering the following stages. This is a new shop that will be coming soon says that this shop was originally modeled by retro mods at some point in fs19 with 3d and was never completed he has given him full permission to continue this model and get it out to everyone since he's been working on it the shed has been cleaned up quite a bit all the 3d is now replaced all new textures new parts have been added he's attempted also to optimize the model as much as possible and it's turning out to be one heck of a shop and it looks that way anyways here is a few facts about these well about this building it is a 60 by 60 shop area, also has a 60 by 92 cold storage area, a 60 by 152 total building area. There's also going to be four color selectable parts for PC, one only for console. We'll have a shop trigger with full customization, will be seasons ready, and will be submitted to testing for console. So a big thing will be actually coming very soon. Do you guys hear that ding? That's actually my PC notification thing going off for Facebook, which is not supposed to do that. So sorry about that, guys. Then the next piece of news to go over is actually from Mr. Hector Modsbot is update 1.1 for Carpathian Countryside that a lot of people's actually been waiting for. This is, of course, going to be for both platforms. Uh, but anyways, it's going to have a more realistic growth calendar on that for the map country for wheat and barley in the map update 1.1. You will also be able to plant wheat and barley in March, barley being ready to harvest in July and wheat in August. If you plant wheat or barley in September or October, Wheat will be ready to harvest in July and barley will be ready to harvest in June. So you might be able to actually get some uh, double uh, double harvests on there. Then over the past week, we also got some news about the Macdon 974, the CIH 2062 and the New Holland 84C that will be coming to all platforms. Uh, just so, so show some tease pictures right here and it says, what's your favorite option? Should a green version be added? Of course, a green version should be added. At least that's my own opinion. Next piece of news for today is actually just a tease picture we have, of course, of the new Chevy pickup that's going to be coming out soon uh, from Sluice Modding. This is just pretty much just to tease it a little bit more. I'm definitely going to be driving this whenever it does finally come out. And then it's good to see Rooster Mods back. It says the console Parker update is nearing completion, but we always listening to and reading community requests. So here you go. Now for the Parker 4000 wagons, you will get to choose between implements or the 385-65R 22.5 truck tires. If you are the kind of farmer that needs to haul 950 bushels at a time down long stretches of highway, then this option is going to work great for you. Not to mention how cool it actually looks. On top of that, he's also added a lift assist spring support to the tongue for extra realism, so it no longer sits on the ground. 
Okay, now we have two more pieces of news to go over, and then that will be it. The next one is actually from BC Bueller about his weekly update, of course, on his sprayer trailer. It says progress is continuing, but not super quickly. He's decided to show some screenshots of some more ways the trailer can be used. Still, he's trying to figure out the best way to make everything easy to load on the trailer when assembling or changing the trailer configuration. The seed tender that you see in those pictures, guys, is actually from Schultz Modi with some updates that will be coming to his Mod Hub version. So big update will be actually coming to that thing too. Can't wait for this sprayer trailer. This is going to go good with those American maps, especially like Alma, Missouri. Now that last piece of news is of course the big one, the John Deere 8020 from Shaben Modding, not Mad Bear, but I think Mad Bear is actually going to be helping him on this project. It says over the past month or so, he's been working on the John Deere 8020 to bring it to FS22. It is still in a work of progress state, but progress is being, being sorry, progress is being made relatively fast. While working on this project, he's had the ability to learn more about the tractor and its unique history. Each tractor has its own background and story to tell. Most were sold to farmers, but a couple were sold to construction sites or to gold mines. Out of the rumored 100 produced, only around 90 of them are left. So, this will be coming out to all platforms very soon. He also says he needs some help. If anybody can find or has a clear photo of the seat suspension for one of these behemoths, please message him on his Facebook page, guys, which that link is down in the description. Okay, so that right there was the wrap up. A lot of good stuff actually happened this past week. I mean, we got amazing mods. We got that big case Tiger 715 plus Eldorado map, which is an amazing map. A lot of good stuff. Hopefully this next week it will be another good week. Like always, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you. That's not the truth.